let's dive into this because I have about 45, 50 minutes before my next call. So we're going to start with Angel. Okay. So Angel has a company called Digital Work Media. He's a fellow designer and looks like he's got a pretty decent homepage. Okay. So right off the bat, He's got a call to action above the fold, which is perfect. You click that, takes you all the way down to getting a name, phone number, an email, and a comment. Brings you also down to his social media. Now you know where it's from. You could call him, which is great, and you can email him right away. That's great. Now, the one suggestion that I would have is I would love to see more value being provided on your site for the visitor, right? They don't know if they want to even connect with you yet. Give them a reason to connect with you. So what I would have here is some sort of free training where angel i would almost do something similar to what i'm doing right now you do a, a free audit for someone and say by doing this would you allow me to showcase this on my website if they say yes what you can do is you can have a pop-up when somebody goes to when somebody goes to X out, right? It'll say, hey, have you seen this free case study on how we help this client rev up their website identity? Ooh, now you got my inch. Now I kind of want to see how you work. All right, let's check that out. Now, in order for them to get that information or see that video, they need to give you an email. And now you have just captured a lead, okay? Now that lead goes to a follow-up sequence perhaps, or now they go into a database where you can follow up with them at a later date and keep that conversation going. So, so far so good. I, I love the design. We build online presence. I don't have to ask myself twice what Angel does. And then the best is he puts the result right there that helps achieve business growth. Now, the only thing that I see missing, Ange, is this. For who? For who? He's going go away. It's okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm going to actually make that go away so we can get full screen here. The only thing that's missing here, Ange, is this, for who? For who? We build online presence that helps achieve business growth for who? And I think that's what's really, really gonna tighten this site up a lot. So then as you scroll down, the about perfect, he starts with why, I love it. So I bet you he read a Simon Sinek book or two. So he starts with why, why does he do it? How he can help people and what the person has to lose if they don't take action. So this is great, this is solid, all right? For years I found it rewarding working for myself and being in my managing job because nothing got more uh, ecstatic than a client sharing their success story with me. All right, so this guy's, he's the real deal. Like he's, he's showing some, some true authenticity here. How do we help? Now, another thing that I might say is we might be able to go a little bit deeper here because what I'm finding out is I have quite a bit of text on my website and I'm seeing that a lot of people are reading it. A lot of people are staying. There's people staying on my site for 48 minutes, 50 minutes. 100 minutes. So that tells me that people are reading 
and they're really consuming. So if you can maybe expand on some of this stuff here, I think it would be helpful. He gets into the process, which I like. He goes into a three-step process, identify, determine, and launch. Okay. Articulating a business brand is a science that involves the right formula that helps discover areas for improvement and opportunities for growth. These are the main parts we focus on, okay? What are the key elements missing in order to interpret a meaningful brand, okay? Brand, so, okay, so, you know, so they're gonna go into some strategy here and then they're gonna help you launch. So rapport is created by, through a well thought out message that will gain ideal. So this kind of gets lost and this is a really important thing for our visitors to see. So I may suggest that we put this a little bit more prominent, right? Services. Our cohort of experts are always striving to deliver results crafted by innovative ideas. Okay, great. So brand identity, web development, content production, and app concept, okay? Here's testimonials, great. Here's projects. Now here's where it got a little funky for me. So when I was scrolling down here, like Joey Avila, that's a whole case study but it's like, it's like smaller than Bailey. Rufus is smaller than Bailey. The super sustainables is like a different, I would keep these all the same size. So if you wanna use this size here and panel them out, this, was, this got a little tricky. My eyes went a little crazy. So maybe restructuring this, this section a little bit so it's a little bit easier. So then when I clicked on this, our, so when I read this, it says client hour. Maybe I would reverse it and put our client, right? Josephine had a great idea for an app called Rufus. She wanted to pitch it to investors, pain points. Ah, look at this. This looks very, very familiar. Somebody's learning. Somebody's taking action. I love it. Okay, good. I learned from the best. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Okay. So see what he did there. Like we're teasing for those folks that don't know what we're talking about. If you go to my website and you go to case studies, I have it set up the same way. <laughs> so I like that he took action and followed suit because when I'm looking at my heat maps, I'm seeing a lot of people clicking on these pages and staying here and reading every word. So very, very important to showcase your evidence. When you showcase your evidence, that's what's gonna get people to buy. So, yeah. So I like the animation here. It's, it's, it's subtle. It's not over the top. What I don't see is a call to action to get them to book a conversation with you. It's way down here at the bottom, but what if they don't get there? You know people are lazy. They may not scroll all the way to the bottom. They may get to here and not even know that there's a bottom. So perhaps we put a call to action here that says, like what you see, want our help, click here, and then it'll drive them here. So I would have those call to actions strategically placed on this site, not just one. I would put maybe one in every section or maybe two. One above the fold, uh, maybe not here, maybe down a little bit, right? Because So once they get the strategy, I would maybe put a call to action here and then I put another call to action here. We're spacing it out accordingly. I'm just going off the cuff here, but that's what we're missing, okay? That's gonna help drive people to you, all right? 
Uh, let me see here. Just being conscious of time here. You have your services. Okay. So what we need to really identify is who it is that you really want to serve, Angel, uh, Angel, because I want you to become the go-to guy for X. That, that when you become known for something, that's when your whole world is going to change. Your whole world is going to change. So right now it's just a little too vague and, and a lot of designers fall into that same. I fell into it for years. You know, I was a, I was a great designer for high-end salons. I was a great designer for restaurant owners and bars and nightclubs. I should have, if I could go back, I would have honed in on the restaurant industry and became the go-to designer for restaurants. I would have more business than I know what to do with. But I'm glad that it all turned out the way it did or else I wouldn't be here teaching you guys. <laughs> so I learned. But that is what I would suggest for this site from what I see right now. Ange, any questions thus far? Uh, actually, no, you actually helped me a lot. And that's why I kind of threw that question at you on Instagram, which was, what was your niche? And your niche defined a certain type of persona or business. So maybe I might skirt on that a bit uh, just to, just to uh, help myself out to answer that question. Who is it that I serve? Who is it that I could help? But really, this has all been very, very helpful. Thank you very much, Henry. I really appreciate it. You're very, very welcome. You're very, very welcome. All right, so let's get to the next brave soul. And we're going to go with Joey Chandler. Okay? So Joey Chandler has this site. Okay? So one thing I do like about... <clears throat> This site is that he starts with a video. And let me just make sure that you can share computer sound, optimize for full screen. Are you trying to craft your story of your business? Are you trying to create this really amazing story where it talks about how you've overcome challenges and, and you've done all these wonderful things and now you're, you're offering this wonderful product that is going to help people do all these amazing things. And you've seen people up on stage and they, they tell their incredible stories. And if you're like me, you're sitting in your chair and you're like, I don't have that story. I haven't had that. Or Okay. So a couple things I see here. One is <clears throat> beautiful camera, beautiful lighting. Your, your composition of the video is very, very good. What I'm seeing as a lack here is want to tell better stories about yourself and your business. I, I don't know. Why do I need to tell better stories about myself and my business? I think if we lead with who we do it for, why it's so important, and what is the end desired result. So you want to tell, so if, tell better stories for yourself, about yourself and your business, for what? Okay? So again, I'll, I'll use my site as an example. So we help consultants and entrepreneurs save time, attract quality clients, and scale profits. It gives you right away in three seconds what you get when you work with us. So I don't know if I need to tell better. I don't know. So tell, tell, me, tell me the end desired result, and that's going to that's gonna shift. That's going to get people to do what I'm doing now and it's scrolling. Another thing that I see here is just a little bit of a lack. And again, don't take this personal, but I see a little lack of um, aesthetic design, right? It looks like a sales funnel. And my goal when I'm designing sales funnels for clients is that the sales funnel needs to look like a website. 
And so like, if you go to build your tomorrow.com, we launched this brand, I'd say about a month and a half ago. I know my connection is going crazy today. Let me show you. So when you come down to, so this is a WordPress site, okay? This is a WordPress site. And as you get down here to her programs and you click on group coaching, this is ClickFunnels. This is a ClickFunnels page. There is a seam, there is a seamless transition. You can't tell if it's ClickFunnels or a WordPress site. So I know you're not using, you're probably using Kartra or some something along those lines. You're using a funnel builder of some sort. So I want you to pay close attention to that because I'll be honest, when I see these funnels that are poorly designed. I think of spam and I think of sales, snake oil salesman. And I know Joey that you are so far from that, but that's what people are getting because people are just so market aware now that these funnels are just, they don't want to be funneled anymore. They, they want that human connection. They want to know that they're safe. They want to know that you invested in your brand and, and your business. And they want to know that you put a lot behind it because they want to feel safe. So just, just as we scroll down here, I know we got some chats here. Okay, cool. Very valuable. Great. Going to utilize. Okay, great. All right. One good thing. He's got some great reviews. Okay. So you click here. <sighs> Hi, my name is Stephanie Kohler. I'm a writer and a musician. So he's got, he's got the online reviews. Recently, I took Joey Chandler's Know Your Purpose program. And in the past, I've been very wary about those sorts of programs. I feel like they really seem to talk about your purpose being something really remote. I, I'll tell you this, a great, great framework for a testimonial is asking that person when they do it, Tell, that, tell me how your life was before you went through the program and how your life changed after the program. Now, she may, just for the sake of time, you know, she may, she may have done that, but that is a great framework for all you other folks out there that are looking to get reviews. Use that framework and it's powerful. All right. So there's, so another thing that I would do, Joe, is I would not bulk all of these together. I would spread them out throughout the page. I would, I would pepper them throughout the page. Uh, benefits of knowing your purpose, sales, efficiency, team building, and energy. Okay. So see the benefits are, are buried four or five scrolls down. I would bring that up. I would bring that up. more testimonials. Okay. So they are peppered out. And then how I figured this out, you have your case study. Okay. So my only, so he's got a lot of testimonials, which is great. Now, my only concern is that when somebody comes here and says, I don't know, the quality of this design site is, is kind of poor. Does his service or product deliver a similar value? I see it all the time. I see it all the time. If I see a poorly designed site, subconsciously I say, is it a poorly designed product or service? So that's why I say you get, you get three seconds, three seconds to make a first impression, what does that what does that say about you? Now I know Joey does great work, right? But what does that say to somebody who does not know Joey at all, right? Nothing. So we we really gotta 
we got to put our best foot forward because when we put great design out there, it shows that we have a great business. And, and I know it's cliche to say, but great, great design is great business. Okay. Uh, use this purpose as a foundation. You know what I'm also seeing is if the headlines are not catchy, nobody's watching the video. No one watches the video. I would also try to play with a call to action. Watch this video to find out, right? Put some curiosity there. Get them to stay around. Stick around for a little bit, right? Would you like to know the purpose of the so you can get started? So when we come here, know your purpose. Yeah. So the biggest issue I see here is credibility. <clears throat> credibility. Does this site truly represent the value that you deliver? That's my question. Instant access to video training. Okay. So one of the things that I would suggest, Joey, is this. I would put the who, what, why, how framework into this site somehow. So I'll give you an example. So we start with why, why we do it, how we do it, what we do. We get into testimonials. We go into our clients. We go into case studies. And then we provide them value, get them to stick around on the site. Right. I was watching my my uh, video recording software and I watch people click on all these videos and sit on this page. Like I said, for like 30, 40 minutes, it's crazy. So having this valuable content on your page is going to help you rank with SEO. It's going to really build that trust and rapport. Again, you got to look at this. You got to look at your site as like your house your house, right? When you invite somebody into your house, would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a water? You're hungry? I got some cheese and crackers here. It's the same thing for your website. It's the same thing for your website. I just recorded a podcast interview and we were talking about human, human, human to human connection. It's no more B2B. It's gone. It's human to human. And treat people online the same way you would treat them in person. And keeping, the, keeping that mindset, I think is really gonna help you guys. You know, I do a lot of follow-up, I do a lot of follow-up emails and I will write to them the same way I would write to my wife. It sounds a little crazy, but that's how I communicate. And people love that because they, they're getting me. They're not getting... They're not getting this buttoned up guy. They're getting, the, they're getting the, the real guy, right? So that's, that's what I would say here as far as this site goes. Now, Joey, do you have any questions? Do you want me to go deeper into anything before I go on? Well, let me unmute you. Go ahead. No, no, that's all. You're, you're right. It's, you know, it's me trying to do my best, my best foot of a design, which is my... Uh, uh, area where I lack immensely for sure. Yeah. So what I would say is this, Joe, I would say, is this the best use of your time? And would it be worth you just hiring somebody to do this, yep. getting it done right so that you can make that, how much, like, say if you put a few grand into this, right? I don't know what you're charging for your product or service, but would it be worth to spend a few grand to make it 10 X back? Right. You know, so just weigh that out and, and say to yourself, but listen, I've been there. I know it. I designed my first website. And then when I got real fancy with click funnels, I turned my old website off. I built my whole site in click funnels and I thought I was the man. And then I was like, ah, no. And I'm a designer. <laughs> I'm a designer. What I did was I had one of my team members say, I, I, I gave them the copy and I said, I want you to redo this for me. I, I'm too close to this damn thing. And 
you see the site that I keep referring to, like that's the result. Right. Yeah. So, and the, 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 the thing that's the, that's, that comes to me the most is that my process is really fast. Like I kind of promise an unbelievable result that you can figure out your purpose in less than an hour. And, and so, but if people don't believe that I can do that, they don't, they're not going to believe that I can do that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's it. That's exactly it. And that's, and it's a sin, but people, there's way too many options in 2019. So they'll come here. They'll look at it for three seconds. Eh, I'm out. I'll find somebody else that yep. captures my emotion better. Right? So that, that's what I'm nervous about. There's, there's thousands of Joey Chandlers out there that can make these breakthroughs in less than an hour and have some incredible talent. They're not getting the time or day because they're not positioned properly online. And that, that's a, that, that is what, that, that is my mission in life is to get these folks in front, polished, so that their brand online represents the real value that they deliver. So awesome, awesome stuff. I appreciate you volunteering. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go to my man, Mr. Duda. How are you, my friend? Okay, so we have, looks like another creative in the house. So Cobb Labs is an independent creative agency with a focus on strategy, branding, digital solutions. Okay. For who? Okay. For who? Right. And what is the end desired result that they are going to achieve? Right. Other thing is I would exchange this handle with a call to action that brings them to some piece of value that gets them engaged. Watch this free case study. Get this free training now on how to blank. Whatever that is, right? So what we do. So I would, I would, I would start with why you do what you do before what we do over this over seven years of experience in creative business. Strategic power, power and identities. Yeah, see, the one thing that I'll say here is <clears throat> every creative, every designer is saying the same damn things. Effective business solutions. What does that mean? You know, and, and you all say the same thing. So I would like to see some sort of uniqueness, some sort of personality here that makes you different from, from Angel, right? So then he goes into portfolio, which is, looks like he has In seller. Okay. So here's where it gets a little funky from a user experience standpoint. So when I click on this, it brings me up to the top of the page. So I'm lost. And there's a lot of movement going on. My brain can only handle so much <laughs> at one particular time. So I would figure out a way to perhaps lay out this portfolio a little bit differently. And I wouldn't put it here per se. I would put it down a little bit further because what I would like to do is I would like to build up the, the hype, the anticipation, the emotion before they get to my portfolio. I want to read this site and say, ooh, this guy gets me. I'm eager to see his stuff. And then I scroll down and then I see your portfolio. Right now it's like you're jamming the portfolio down my face, but I don't even know who you are, right? So yeah, I mean, you do great work. I mean, look at, look at, look at your stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's done really well. So 
what we want to consider here is the user experience and the flow of the site. I'd also pay attention to a little bit of pixelation here as well. So laying out this a little bit better. I think would help you tremendously. You got a couple broken over here. And then tell the story. You know, tell the story of this brand. What the problem was, how you came in and solved it. Because it's funny, people are, visitors are going to pick up different conversations. They're going to pick up different things on your website and, and connect with it. So I don't, I don't, if I was, I don't know who you're serving. So we got to define that first. But if I was coming here, I 12,000 lines of code doesn't mean anything to me. 365 cups of coffee doesn't mean anything to me. This means something to me. And this means something to me. Finished product and satisfied clients. So if you had, so what scares me though, you have 14,000 satisfied clients. I scratch my head and say, this guy worked with 14,000 people. I'm just thinking out loud because I want you to hear me as I scroll through this. Would there be a slight level of skepticism there? I don't know. You have your scrolling clients list. That's good. Free consultation. Follow us on Instagram. Want to learn the step-by-step -step on how to launch an effective Facebook ad. Okay. So this guy here, that's sort of just like hanging. I don't see the correlation. I don't see the correlation of what it is that you do and then learning how to launch an effective Facebook ad. I would want to learn a step-by-step -step how to launch your brand. That would be more aligned with what you do. And then pay attention to this stuff here. I, I catch these little things here. Free Instagram feed widget. Like, I would try to hide that somehow. And then when we sign up, let's work together. Our offices. Yeah, so a couple things here. Let's go home. Let's go to merch real quick. And I know you're still under construction with this, I believe. So I'm going to go a little easy because I know that there's, there's things that you still need to finesse. But we definitely want a cleaner user experience so it's easy to navigate. We want to get a little bit more copy on this page that tells them more about you. There's no personality here. And that was one of the big things that my website was missing back in the day. When Russell Brunson, when I first started working with Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels, and I had, this, I had my first meeting with him, and he said, show me your website. I sent him my website, and he did one of these to me. And he said, dude, this is one of the prettiest websites I ever saw in my life. The only problem was you don't exist on it. Where, where, where are you? You have a big personality. You love people. Where are you on the site? I was not to be found. And the problem with that was people were buying me. And there was no distinction between me as a designer and Mr. Duda or Angel as a designer. So who do they pick? Right, they're gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, or they're gonna go with the fanciest website. And 
So I think I was getting a lot of clients because I've spent 18 grand on that website, 26,000 actually with the, with the promo video installed in it. And I think that's where I was getting the business. But let me tell you something. I, I don't think I ever made my money back with that, with that site, with that version of site. It wasn't optimized to market and to convert a visitor to a client. It just wasn't optimized. It was just this fancy, pretty site. So what I'm trying to help you guys do is create a functional website that gets people to take action, right? That was another thing that I didn't see so much on Joey's site was some real prominent calls to action of what to do next, right? I, they were kind of like hidden. They, I, was, I was missing them. So I want to make sure that you guys have a site that's free flowing and walks them through a process, like tells the story really tells the story, right? Of what you do, why you do it, and how you do it. And then gives them a call to action. Take this free training. Open display billboards if you're down. Yeah, I gotta be careful of time. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get to any more because I gotta wrap up. Um, but what I wanna do is ask Mr. Duda if he has any questions for me. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, nice and loud. Okay, so uh, as as if right now, I also sitting on the email that I am right shifting myself, working with agencies and production house to work as an independent consultant. So how I can, um, because I have a lot of stuff working with production house and agencies and there's a lot of NDA also that I can share. So how I can maneuver myself working only with entrepreneurs? As you said before, I just found one entrepreneur I'm working him for free as a case study. Sure. So I can use that leverage to yeah. show my portfolio and his digital footprints because he's really good on Instagram and all the other social media platform. Yeah. So after this, again, like you just pinpointed me, show my personality yeah. and have a more good uh, user journey. when whosoever comes on my yeah, website, right? Yeah, yeah, so okay. you're picking up what I'm dropping, I love it. So what I would, what I would suggest you do is create a, an entire personal brand website around you and how you solve these people's problems, right? If you go to any personal brand website, they'll do a really, really good job of that where they'll present themselves in a really nice way, tell the whole story, but then they go real hev heavy on the evidence. Okay, yeah. So right now, what I'm doing right now, the project I'm working on with this entrepreneur. So I'm documenting everything on the video. Okay. So like I just put the camera at the background, everything is documented. Even the shoot today, we did some shoot today. So I like documented everything. So I just wanted to know how I can use that footage. Should I put a clean cut promo on my website or just chuck it down with the social media or use the content pyramid? Well, I would have a case study section on the site and I would feature this individual just like I feature my case studies. They, they have a prop, they have a pain point. They have, they have a, we have a strategy, we have an execution plan and we have an end result, <clears throat> right? That's the way I would structure the case study. And then I would put all the footage that you are creating for this in there. I would have an editor come in and get it down to about like my case study videos with my clients are no more than like 20 minutes. And that's long. That's long. But I would try to chunk it down into that. Right. And the way I do my case study videos is um, I actually do it with the client. I sit down, I, I get them on a Zoom call and I, get, and I walk them through a series of questions. And as they're answering the questions, I'm sharing screen and showing the site and showing the end result to everybody. So that's, that's how I would handle the, 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 the documentation of what you're doing. I would do a whole complete different strategy for the site itself, for you. So... When you go to my website, there's, a store, there's, a, there's two buttons. It says story part one, story part two. And they, they watch those to the end every time. 
every time. And right away they get excited. And the story about me and my dad, when I was running on the soccer field, when I was eight, you know, that touches thousands of people. Right. And, and anytime they get on a, a introductory consult call with me, they say, I'll tell you right now, you almost had me in tears. So when you evoke that kind of emotion and show that sort of vulnerability and that, that realness, <laughs> like, People are going to, so I would make the site all about you, especially if you're transitioning it into a consultant, I would, I would make it all about you. But again, you want to feature, watch what I say here, because I don't want you to take that and run with it. You have to feature the evidence. You got to make that really, really prominent. So I, I could show you footage of screen recordings of my website. There's one place where everybody hangs out the most. It's, the, te the, the success story section on my homepage and those damn case studies. So, and then the second most favorite place they hang out is the services page. So they're doing a lot of research there. And then the third is they're watching all the videos in my little YouTube section of my homepage and they're consuming my content. So they're getting what? They're getting to know, like, and trust me because it's a hundred dollars to talk to me for 30 minutes. So are, is, is, is that, is that worth it to them? You know, is this the right guy? Is he going to help me? Right? Like, so that's really necessary in, in 2019 for you to really create that connection up front before they take action. There's just too many, there's just too many options. Yep. So. Okay. So, but, but, but great job. Great job. So there you have it guys. So I just have to, I, I will say this. Um, I used to do these uh, back in the day and I, what, I remember why I stopped because I just got inundated with them. <laughs> I just was, I was spending my, all of my days just doing these brand audits. So, but what I, but I do really, really enjoy them. So for anybody that is on, the show here today who wants one of these done for themselves for the first five people i'm gonna do these brand audits for 197 and i'm gonna put the link right here in the chat if you're interested you can book one right now and the first five people will get it for 197 after that they're gonna go up to 497 because i take about I take a good 30 minutes and really dive deep into these. Um, so I put the link in the chat, copy and paste that if you're interested <clears throat> and become one of the top five and you'll get that discount. But um, I appreciate all you guys. And I hope you guys that have been watching sort of on the sidelines, have been taking some notes and seeing what are those elements that need to go on those sites in order for them to survive in, uh, in 2019. So I appreciate all you guys. Last but not least, guys, if any of you um, found value in this, could you go to my Google business page? If you just type in Henry Kaminsky Jr. on Google, and if you could write a review for me, that would be truly, truly appreciated. So that's all I got for you guys. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys soon.